Riley and welcome to the UMA cooking lessons for college students. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make homemade guacamole. You're going to come along with me on my shopping experience and then learn how to make the recipe after. So let's go get our ingredients. We now have all of our ingredients and we can start making homemade guacamole. So let's get cooking. We have all of our ingredients to make guacamole. Lime juice, two avocados, fresh garlic, and a small onion. The first step is going to be getting the avocados ready to be mashed. So you're gonna take a knife and cut the avocado down until you hit the pit. And then you're gonna slowly go around, opening the avocado up. And then you can take the two sides, twist it, and then you have the pit and you can use a knife or a spoon to get these pits out. To cut the avocado, you will go in with the knife and cut it into slices inside the avocado, right inside down to the skin. All these little slices, that way you can scoop it out with a spoon. I now have my avocado all cut up and I'm gonna use this masher to mash it. If you don't have a masher, you can also use a fork. I've mashed the avocado and I'm now I'm gonna cut up my onion. I'm gonna cut off both sides of the onion so it's easier to peel it. And then I'm gonna take this part and peel the outer skin off of it. I'm now gonna take a couple slices of onion and then slice them both ways and using a chopping style to put into the guacamole and you can chop them as big or as little as you would like. The last item to chop is garlic and we're only going to need one clove. I now have my one clove of garlic and I'm now going to chop it up. I'm gonna take a big knife, place it over the garlic, place my hand over it, and break it down. And that will break open the garlic. We can now take the outer peel off the garlic, and we're only gonna want the clove of the garlic. We don't want the peeling of it at all. So we can take this off, and all we want is this part of the garlic. And then I'm gonna take my knife, Cut off the ends, and then finally chop this. The final step is to add some lime juice into this guacamole. Thank you so much for attending my cooking lesson, and I hope to see you at the next lesson where we're going to be making a sweet treat. Thank you so much again, and I hope you enjoy your homemade guacamole.